everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are backpacking in the Sipsi Wilderness. The summer heat is mostly past, it's still a little warm today, but uh, we, are, uh, we are out and uh, enjoying our first backpacking trip in, oh goodness, <laughs> our first backpacking trip in quite a while. So uh, come along with us and check it out. For this one night backpacking trip in the Sipsi wilderness, Jonathan, Jacob and I started out at the Borden Creek trailhead and descended down to the old bridge over the Borden Creek. There we crossed over the bridge and headed up the trail 224, the Bunyan Hill Wagon Road. This is a long and boring but easy four mile hike along the top of the ridge that takes you all the way to trail 204. Trail 204 turns south and heads down the East Bee Branch Falls in the Big Tree. We set up camp near the Big Tree and enjoyed the cool dampness of the canyon. The next morning, we packed up and continued down the Bee Branch Canyon, dodging lots of fallen trees until we reached the Sipsi Fork. There we turned east on Trail 209 and followed the Sipsi Fork downstream through some beautiful canyons and lots of small stream crossings. This long stretch is pretty easy hiking with only a few trees down and no elevation gain. Eventually, we came to Fall Creek Falls where we cooled down before continuing on to the Borden Creek where we followed the west side of the Borden Creek North on a less traveled trail with lots more down trees and obstacles until we returned to the old bridge over the Borden Creek. Finally, we climbed back up to the top of the plateau in our car at the trailhead. This 15 mile long loop is normally an easy backpacking trip, but we happened to hit one of the last hot, humid days of early fall and the heat added an extra difficulty to this hike. Nevertheless, it was still a lovely weekend outing in the Sipsi Wilderness. All right, we are at the Borden Creek Trailhead, entering the Sipsi Wilderness. It has been a long, hot summer. It is great to be back out again. It's still a little warm, but we'll survive. It's tolerable, but uh, cooler weather's coming, so looking forward to getting out more. All right, we have come to the big bridge, to the old bridge over the Borden Creek here, and uh, Today we're crossing over and continuing on on the other side. Well, the Borden Creek's running, very pretty today. We are heading up the hill on the other side of the Borden Creek on trail 224. Well, that's an interesting fungus. Whew, gotta take a breather coming up this hill. But man, the, uh, the rocks are, are really pretty. I like how the trees are just growing on the edge of this one up here. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Here's a pretty little flower, very nice, right in the middle of the trail. We are almost to the top of the plateau, it is warmer up here, but this is where we're going to be most of today. So drink some water and move on. That's an interesting mushroom, very purple. God, it's hot up here though. Whew. But it's easier walking now. Walking on pine needle carpet. Flowers, look at that. Very nice. Oh, here's some goldenrod even. Very cool. The trail across the top of the plateau generally doesn't have much to say for it. It's easy, but there's not any views or anything, it's just an old road, but uh, it's easy and uh, it's gonna take us right where we wanna go, so. Hike it, we will. Yeah, there's, there's an old road here that goes off this way that used to go down by Fall Creek Falls, but uh, it's just an off-trail bushwhack now. Some of this up here can become a tunnel of pine trees. There's 
there's a bunch of young pine trees growing up on either side of the road up here. Yeah. I don't think so. I think they grew up in the ditch of the old road. Because this road was still used until the 1970s. Yeah. It's kind of striking. <laughs> very, unnatural. very unnatural looking, exactly. Some more pretty flowers right along the trail. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are seeded out. Huh. We're still going along the old road. You can, uh, you can really see how it's built up here. At some point they filled in a little drainage here to bridge over it with the road so it would stay flat and go across. That's kind of cool. Uh, whew, it's warm. And, uh, and this is a dry hike across the top of the plateau, so make sure you bring lots of water with you if it's a hot day like it is today. We brought plenty, but uh, we're drinking it. A big mushroom. Look at that. <laughs> So we're starting to go uphill here and a little ditch is eroded in the old road. Look at that. That's quite the ditch. And then there's this giant beetle. Look at this beetle here. Oh, he's a big one. Here, I'll put my foot by you. See, he's pretty big. This ditch is like eroded down into the sandstone. That's pretty wild. Water, I bet, shoots through there when it rains. Yeah. Wow, this goldenrod's really pretty here in the trail. And these other little yellow flowers by it. Just gorgeous. Very nice. Some purple ones, too. All right. We have come to trail 204. That, this basically concludes our long hike down this old road. <sighs> so, four miles on the road. Yeah, four miles on the road. So, uh, yep, time to get another drink of water and we'll head down a, a more traditional trail on 204 here. Yes, yeah, someone has tied a flag on the sign. <sighs> Lots of handwritten sign here, but this is 204A to our right. That's how you get to the big tree. So the left will take you down to the Sipsy Fork eventually after a long winding trail. The right is what we want. We're going to the big tree. So there's a really nice campsite up here on top of the plateau above the big tree, but the problem with it is there's no water up here. The nearest water is basically at the big tree. So I don't recommend this campsite, but it's here and it's big. And uh, maybe if you had Boy Scouts who could go down and shuttle water up, it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> okay, we are at the top of the East Bee Branch Falls. looks cool and wet down there, doesn't it? I feels I can feel cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Excited. Sure. And the big trees back there, I can't I can see the top of it up here. Uh -huh. You can't see the base of it. Can't see the base of it though. Yep. All right, we stopped and got some water and rested a bit and we're gonna head on to our campsite. So pretty. East Bee Branch Falls. Is this new 
or has this always been here? That tree is new that fell there. Okay. Yep. We have arrived at a potential campsite. We have camped here before. We call this the ledges of big tree, but it's pretty small. There's not a lot of room for tents. John's got a hammock. He could string it up between those big trees over there. Yeah, that'd be good. It's Jacob and I that gotta figure out what we're doing. All right, got the tent set up, and uh, Jacob's going to cowboy camp it tonight under the rock hang. Uh, that'll probably work tonight. And uh, I'm right here. Um, we'll have a little fire over here probably just for light later. It's plenty warm. And Jonathan's in his hammock over here. So, very good. All right, should we go see what there is to see? Sure. We have finally arrived at the big tree. The sun has gone behind the ridge back there and uh, it's cooling down. It's a little, a little cool here in the valley. It's very nice, a little humid, but cool. Right next to the big tree. So this is where we're making supper and uh, we're going to uh, stay here for a while and cool off and <laughs> until it probably gets dark and then we'll uh, find our way back up to our campsite. So very nice. All right. John is filtering some water here before we head back to camp. It's uh, gotten kind of dark. <laughs> One ball down. Well, it's too hot to build a fire tonight, so this is our bee-free fire. <laughs> it actually works pretty good. It kind of lights things up here just enough. It's kind of like a little fire. Uh, we just put a red uh, um, headlamp underneath the uh, the bee free filter full of water bag full of water. So makes a nice little dis diffuser. Ah, uh, just sitting here enjoying our fire. <laughs> it's actually cooling down a little bit, or else we are cooling down. Yeah. Um, there's a few stars out there. I don't okay. think we're going to be able to see it on the on the camera, but there are a few out there through the trees. Yeah. But yeah, we've we've got our little. Fire, our bee free fire going yet here, so it's very nice. There's the big tree over there. I didn't film our campsite very well last night, so I'm gonna try to do that this morning. So there we are, Jonathan had his hammock right here. And uh, my uh, Nemo tent is right back there and Jacob cowboy camped a little bit further on. And he's getting breakfast going. It's a beautiful morning. Clear sky. Sun is just starting to hit the opposite walls of the canyon here.
That's first up is coffee. It's like I don't remember the coffee taking this long to cool down. I was like, oh yeah, it wasn't twelve thousand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, wasn't that, hot it wasn't that hot in the first place. Yes, yeah, at twelve thousand feet, it boils at much much lower temperature. I was looking at uh, some of the sandstone here, and I can see a couple of fossils. There's one right here, right there. Not very big, but then down here on the ground, there's one that is basically the whole length of this rock, like a giant leaf, or maybe a, a trunk of a tree. I don't know, that's pretty impressive. At first I just thought it was layers of sandstone, but now I'm pretty sure it's not. We are mostly packed up, so uh, just getting ready to go here. Love this little campsite. It isn't very big, but it's got character. <laughs> We've stayed here several times. All right, we're gonna be heading out. The sun is, is uh, way down into the valley. It's gonna get hot. All right, we are heading out, heading down the slope here. Off we go. That's the trail over to the big tree where we went last night. And uh, we are gonna go off to the left here, this way. Looks like a big tree fell down up ahead. Well, I cleared an opening, didn't it? Indeed. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't block our way. I say that. Jeez, it's bigger than it looks <laughs> from a distance. Ah! Can I get over? We are hiking down along East Bee Branch towards the junction with West Bee Branch. And this hike wouldn't be so bad except for all the downed trees. <laughs> They've been downed a long time mostly, but there's still a challenge. There is a large wolf spider right down here. <laughs> See Lou? Oh no, it's gone away. <laughs> yep. So many down trees. <laughs> you have choices here. You can go up or down. I'm going down. You're going to try up. Oh, I bet you can keep going around up there, can't you? That's why I was just adding. Yeah, I might try that too. Huge rock here. Very impressive. And now we're at the junction. Whoa! Oh my. Take a little bit different footpath there. And now we come into the west, the, where West Bee Branch is coming in. There's a, some campsites here.
Yeah, Westby Branch is over there. And so the shortcut trail back to the Thompson Creek Trailhead crosses right over here and uh, goes up the West Bee Branch. But we're going to continue down Bee Branch towards the Sipsy Fork. Don't think that south of West Bee Branch your troubles are over. <laughs> the down trees continue. This old fallen beech tree has some interesting fungus growing on it. And also down below. So many down trees. We are almost to the intersection with the Sipsy Fork. I can hear people in the big campsite here. Here we are at the Sipsy Fork, heading downstream. Should be a little easier going today unless there's been recent storms that have blown something down. Here's some boulders as big as a house, or at least one. Very, very impressive. It's so pretty. Yeah, so there's a little campsite right down here. A big tree got toppled. It blocked the, the trail we're on and 204. 204 goes up here. So we're trying to go around this big tree that fell over. The sign for 204 is right here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty well blocked now. Huh. Now those are some orange mushrooms growing on the side of that down tree root. Woo. It's a really steep stream crossing here. Sometimes there's a rope tied here. <laughs> I don't see it today. Well, I guess I better put my camera down. <laughs> All right, we have reached the ford of the uh, Sipsy Fork here. Across the way is uh, the trail to Featherhawk Falls, or I think it's trail 203. You can take all the way up to the Randolph Trailhead. It's quite a few miles, but it's uh, an easy walk. So anyway, we've crossed this before. The last time Jacob and I did uh, this section, we crossed here. But today we're gonna continue down the Sipsy Fork. The Sipsy Fork here is so beautiful. Just gorgeous. A little toad. Right there. <laughs> He's a little guy. It's very interesting how the little creek of water is running down here. And it disappears here, goes underground, and comes back out over there. <laughs> and flows into the Sipsy Fork out there. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at all the mushrooms. These are the puffball mushrooms, aren't they? The ones that explode when you touch them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all puffballs. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so many puffballs in one place. Look at this. Yep. Wow. Well, there's a really nice big campsite here. You could put a lot of folks here. 
It's right on the bluff above the Sipsy Fork down there. Got all the uh, oyster mushrooms growing on that uh, stump there. <laughs> yeah, someone even left some kindling in it. Very nice. All right. We're continuing on though. The hemlock forest and cliffs on the other side here are really impressive. <laughs> cliffs have come down to us here too. A big wet overhang here. We have arrived at Fall Creek Falls. Very nice. Welcome sight. On this hot day. Have you ever been here, Tom? Yeah. Okay. I think there's a really cool campsite. There is, yep. So impressive. Ah. All right, we are going to rest here and cool down and filter some water. No better place to do it. Does that cool you off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to head out again. All right, say goodbye to Fall Creek Falls. Back into the heat we go. All right, we have come up on the Borden Creek. It's flowing in here from the left. There's the Borden Creek. So, Trail 209 that we've been following since we left the uh, the B Branch goes down here and crosses and ends right up there where it joins with Trail 20, uh, 200, the Borden Creek Trail. And about a half mile south of us is the uh, is the uh, Sipsy River picnic area. Um, so that's where we are. Our plan though is to turn and go north here and follow a. Uh, an old um, uh, community trail on this side of the creek. And uh, that will take us back up to the big bridge eventually. Well, this fungus here looks like an egg popping up. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pop up and open up its frill on top. But very interesting. A little campsite here. The stretch along here is pretty rough. Not quite bushwhacking, because there is a route, but boy, you got lots of bush to brush to push through. And uh, an absolutely annoying number of holly bushes. Wow. So, it's work. Speaking of, right there, holly tree. But the Borden Creek right next to us is gorgeous. 
In this area, we're entering a hemlock forest. That's what this little tree is. But uh, there are many. They are trees that in Alabama, you really only find in the bottoms of canyons and usually only on the north facing sides, which is what we're in now, because they can't take heat and they need a lot of water. But this little uh, cliff provides them the protection they need. We are coming around a bend in the Borden Creek here. Still deep in the hemlocks. There's a big rock overhang here. It's dark. <laughs> Another big rock overhang. We just walked right around here on the rocks. Heading off this way. I think we are now opposite the Fat Man Squeeze. That's over there. Very nice campsite along here. Got wood piled up, a nice stone seat right above the Borden Creek. Well, if we were staying another night, this is probably where I'd stay. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try to get out of here yet today. It's just hot and we're tired. Well, this is all freshly fallen. The leaves are still green. Oh man. Hope we can find our way through. Well, we must be getting close to the old bridge because uh, we start hitting campsites about every 50 to 100 yards. And I believe we'll see the old bridge right around the corner. There it is! Woohoo! Now we just gotta climb up to it. Oh, uh, then we gotta climb up to the cars, <laughs> which are at the top of the plateau. But, hey, it's a major milestone. The old bridge. We have rejoined the, the trail we started on yesterday. <laughs> Whew. We have completed the loop. We are hot, tired, and a little sore. <laughs> it was a long day today. Jacob bailed on us. He had to, he had to get back to school, so he uh, left us a few miles ago and sprinted up here as only he can do. <laughs> well, John and I took our time, but uh... all right, road walk back up to the car. Man, this climb up at the end is relentless oh you know i know it's there but i've done it dozens of times but it always catches me by surprise how you know when you're at the end of the hike and you're tired and you just want to be at the car you start up this trail and you think oh i'll go around the corner and i'll see the sign and you round the corner and nope and you go well around the next corner and you keep going around the next corner nope <laughs> it just keeps going. <sighs> so, ah, but climb it we must. The sign, the sign. <laughs> Is our car the only one left up here? Yep. Yep. <sighs> yep, our car is the only one left up here. Thanks for going along with me today. It was a long, hot hike, but still beautiful as ever in the Sipsy Wilderness. So catch you next time. <laughs>